I seriously need to get my multiplier back up. I just can't be asked to do all the quests, like, because I know it's completely empty. If it was at, like, 1.75, then I wouldn't care. It's all the way back down to 1, so I've got to do, like six or seven quests. Anyway, you guys have been commenting. Loads of people telling me to get the vamp weed. Loads of people telling me to get the bling pylon mech. Funny enough, I don't think I saw one comment telling me to get the bolt blaster. Not really surprised. I am actually going to be buying none of them. Obviously, I'm buying the banana bunker. My reasoning is thus. Vamp weed is for a chomper, so I don't want it. That's a bling ability, and so is that. So they're essentially useless anyway. That looks kind of cool, but I don't really like pea shooters, so this is what we're going with. Currently wearing the Batatronic, so let's see what this new one does. It looks like something's straight out of Bloons Tower Defense. So job number one, let's hop into a game, let's see what it does. Oh, 36 pink. It's even better. Oh, I could sit and look at that all day, but that may be quite a sad individual. So I was super excited to get into Outlast 2. Funny enough, before recording this video I've actually recorded episodes two and three and it gets pretty interesting the game's actually really good fun it's scary but it's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be this happens with a lot of horror games I'm sitting here so anxious beforehand thinking to myself oh it's gonna be so terrifying I'm just not gonna want to play it but then as I got into it I was kind of like eh, it's not that bad and now you don't want to let me on zombies what is your problem so I recorded about an hour's worth of footage I'll probably split it into two videos someone actually put a comment on the last one making a pretty good point one of the big differences between the first one and this one. I could get so many kills with this airstrike. Please. I could get so many kills. Two. Are you taking the piss? I thought I was going to get like five. That was such a letdown. I thought I was going to get so many kills then. We shall persevere. And don't ask me why I'm using barbecue corn. I have no idea. I still like this guy, even though he sucks. Did my airstrike even land? I didn't see it. But for me, the big difference between the first one and this one is the stealth aspect. Yeah, I saw you try that. In the first game, if you're stealthy enough, then you can pretty much stealth your way through the majority of the game, and you can avoid a lot of the chases just by not being seen. This game, it's a bit different. It is so much harder in this game to not be seen by the enemy, which generally means no matter how well you try and hide, at some point they're gonna see you. Especially Marta. The woman with the pickaxe is Marta, right? I'm not a dickhead. I haven't got a clue. You cannot hide from this chick. No matter where you hide, she always finds you. She's also Usain Bolt, so you can't outrun her. Dude, how am I not getting kills with these air strikes. How do you think you're going? Uh, no. So yeah, that's the main difference for me, is it's so much harder to not be seen in this game. So my anxiety going into the first game was, I really don't like being chased. So if you're stealthy enough, then you can pretty much avoid it most of the time anyway. This game... Nah. I've probably been chased more in the first hour and a half of this game than I have through, you know, the whole of Outlast 1. I mean, as far as Outlast 1 goes, I haven't played through the whole game, but I've certainly played through a lot more than I have this one. So if you don't like being chased, then this game probably isn't for you. You're pretty much being chased most of the time. Can this one please land? Please. There's a kill. And I'm dead. And I don't think it landed anyway. So we're gonna chuck that down right there. If that can land, if that could just land... And now there's no one there. Oh yeah, now it lands! Guy's using the tennis star, fair play. Okay, that was weird. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Chuck that. Come on, come on now. The opportunity's there. One! 33 seconds left. Not long left. Almost there, almost there, come on. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. You can do it too, I can do. Yes, boys, well played. That's the most frustrating thing about this map. If you're playing on zombies, you can literally dominate right up until that very, very last bit, and then it's so difficult to beat it. At least it means you always get a full game out of it, though. Look who got himself on top performers. Barbecue corn? Really? And then Tennis Star got the most kills? And, oh, wait, hang on a minute. Is it opposite day? Apparently, if we open these packs, we get something extra. Oh, what? Buy these packs. Oh, it's cool. We'll give you something extra. A legendary hat. I wasn't expecting that. Still haven't got the Disco Chomper yet. Truth be told, I haven't really been going for him. I think at this point, I might just start going for him just so I can actually get all the characters. I'm missing him, and I think I'm missing... Is it Party Brains? I think I'm missing him as well. Right, so let's see what this monkey can do. That's so cute. He shoots out little bananas. Nah, you're not getting away. What 
That's so cool. I love that so much. Oh, that's amazing. I still don't like it more than the Batatronic, but it's cool. I like it. Oh, and I just come across him again. On point. Dude, I love this little monkey. Jump shot. Okay, I didn't realize I had multi rocket on, but it still works. We need a name for this monkey. What should we call him? I don't know what to call him. Yeah, sorry, I nicked that off you, mate. <laughs> I'll tell you what, leave a comment on this video. What should we call the monkey? We need a good name for him. He's gonna have significance, he needs a name. Don't revive. Don't revive. Come on. Come on, splash. Work for me. I pay your wage, so start delivering. Okay, we're gonna try the multi jump shot. Didn't. Yeah, that <laughs> doesn't really work with multi rocket. Dude, I haven't used this guy in so long. Why the hell did I ever stop using this guy? Starting to remember why he was my best soldier. Uh, it's an artichoke. Yeah. Good kill. Oh, mid-air burrow. <sighs> yes, there we go. Dude, I love this monkey so much. Nice kill streak again. Can't complain. So let's open another pack, see if we've got the same luck. Two legends back to back. Could it happen? I think it's going to happen. No. One more. Mm, no. Whatever, man. I'll call it a day. So the Banana Bunker. One of my favourite hats. Let's go see what the other one does. Here we go. Lord Cinderbottom's Nephew. I'll call it just Breathe Fire. Yeah, I mean, it's a dragon, so I don't know what I was expecting. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Got a chance to try out two hats. Banana Bunker and Lord Cinderbottom's Nephew, whatever it was called. So if you enjoyed this video, as always, leave a like. So two of Outlast will be coming later today. And thanks as always for watching, guys. Have a good one. And I'll catch you next time.